Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. My name's Sophia. Of course, you probably know it's all my family that's just watching this. But if you don't, I'm from Missouri in the United States and I'm Kim. I studied abroad in Seoul, South Korea. And I'm here now. Woo! I was I had like a 20 hour flight. And it was terrible, I'm not gonna lie. And everyone always talks about how like when you get to, it's like a really like organized, efficient, smooth process, but I don't agree at all. It was like a two hour long process and it was like five different stations and they all just checked the same thing. They just checked my passport, my COVID documents. They did that like five times. And I also don't agree because when I finally got finished with that, and it came to like the part where someone had to pick me up the wrong person picked me up. It was so scary. Cause like I got to the part and they didn't know what was going on. Like the people who was helping me, I, they barely spoke any English. Anybody barely spoke any English. We could still kind of like navigate. And um, so they're trying to figure out who I was, like what university. And I see this guy with a sign from afar and it had my name, Sophia. And it had like another word after it, but I was too far away and I just figured that was my university because that's just what they've been asking me is like, name and university. So anyways, I'm like, oh, that's the person, that's the person. So they send me over to that guy and the guy's, I didn't get to see the sign again and he didn't even ask me my name. So I was like, oh, okay. At this point, I, I don't know what's going on. No one speaks English. So he like, this guy's like running through the airport. And I had to like literally like jog to keep up with him. And I was like, hey, I have to get like a phone and I have to get my money exchanged. But because this guy was in a rush and like couldn't help me, I couldn't like check this group message to see like who's picking me up. And um, and I ended up getting like, I could only get data. Like I didn't get a phone number. So anyways, I get in this guy's car and I finally was able to like, sit down and check the group message and the wrong person they're like yeah you know so, they're like where are you at and i'm like oh someone picked me up already and they're like what i was like what do you mean what did the wrong person pick me up and they're like yeah where are you right now like what's happening and i was like holy shit so anyways i like try to tell the driver that and he's like what what's your name and so i get sophia he's like what He's like, are you not going to the quarantine center? I'm like, no, I am. My last name, I'm Sophia White. You, you have the wrong person. And he, he, you know, barely spoke English. So I finally, I like give him my phone while he's driving. This guy is a crazy driver, by the way. He's like swerving, he's speeding. And he's like, um, everyone from Seoul is a crazy driver. The craziest drivers I've ever seen. They're constantly going in front of people. But he's like literally like on my phone, like driving. And I'm terrified at this point. I didn't even have a seatbelt. And this, this finally he um, sees the message and he's like, okay, okay. And he keeps my phone. He doesn't give me my phone back. And he's like calling a bunch of people and he's like, a I, I U-turn, U-turn. I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, can I have my phone please? And he, he didn't know what I was saying. And I was like, sir, I need phone, telephone, phone. He's like, oh, you, you call manager? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So I finally get my phone back and I can tell these people what's going on. I'm like, you know, so he picked up the wrong person. This guy was like obviously mad and in a rush. And he was like, shit, 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 shit. That's what he kept saying. And so I finally tell him like, there, he's taking me back. It'll be like five minutes. And these people were like freaking out too. They're like, okay, okay. I get there and uh, the guy is like, hey, tell me your name and phone number and I, I tell him I write it down and so he calls the guy for me and tells him and he comes and picks me up but this guy was so mad and I felt really bad too even though I felt like it was kind of his fault he didn't even ask me for my name or anything so um anyways he was like pay me pay me you better start counting your money pay me I was like I was like I don't know Korean currency like I don't and he's like 10,001 10,001 I was, like, I was like, is this guy hustling me right now? I like look it up, it was like $8. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna give him my, like the 10,001 because I don't wanna mess with it anymore. So I just gave it to him and the right guy picked me up, like put me in his car. And then it was like an hour and 30 minute drive to the quarantine center. 
this I'm like terrified at this point. At this point, I just want to die. But the guy who like picked me up, he was really sweet. He was really nice. He didn't know a lot of uh, English, but he like he was like, "Hey, what's your age?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm 21." Or like 22 in Korea. He was like, "Oh, young woman, young woman." I'm like, "Yep." He's like, "How old do you think I look?" I'm like, "17." He thought that was so funny. Um, but he's like, "I wish you." Uh, great success great success i was like oh thank you i was like i wish you success and i think he thought that was funny because he said um can you believe i'm i'm 60 and i couldn't believe that honestly like he looks young he was probably like tops 40 to me but anyways um we get to the center and he drops me off and someone picks me up and this guy's in a rush too i think everyone's in a rush in korea i don't know what's up with that um, so he takes me to this room, and I'll show you. Here's the tour of my room. So this is right when you walk in. You gotta take your shoes off here, and then you can like walk in. Here's the little kitchen area. I think it's weird. Um, in Korea, I think it's pretty common to have like your, this is like your clothes washing machine. In your like little kitchen area. <laughs> I think that's pretty crazy. Anyways, I got a little hot plate. Pretty nice. They gave me some dishes. Cleaned some of them. And then here's the snacks they gave me. Pretty hyped about. Ramen. This one looks good. I'm excited. I also brought my own snacks, thank goodness, because they didn't really give me, like, I guess, like a whole lot for seven days. I'm excited to try this. And here's what they gave me for breakfast. <laughs> I think this is kind of funny, I don't know. <laughs> Korean Frosted Flakes. They taste just the same as normal Frosted Flakes, of course. <laughs> but there's that, that's food. They gave me dinner last night, but I was like so not hungry when I came back. And also, I'm not gonna lie, the food they gave me, I don't think it looks very appetizing. Like, what is that? I don't know. It looks like, I don't know. Maybe it's pretty good. Maybe I'm being very American by being like, ew, food. But I was not hungry last night, so I wasn't even gonna try. I wonder what they'll give me today. And they have this little setup. I don't think I checked these. Yeah, nothing in there. And like in Korea, you have to like separate the trash into like two different colored bags. There's like this blue and this clear one. And like the plastics go in and like these kind of things go in the clear one. Whereas like normal trash goes in the blue one. And wipes. Yeah. I don't know if this means like normal toilet paper or just like wet wipes. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> So there's that. When I first came here, the guy turned on the TV and he turned on the, the Olympics for me. It was weird, like, seeing it all in Korean and, like, them only focusing on Korean athletes. I thought that was really interesting, like, seeing it compared to, because I was watching it in America, seeing how they compared that. It was, you know, was kind of cool. Here's, like, the little closet. So they don't have a dryer, so I had to, like, hang up my clothes. So those are still, like, soaked. And then... It's pretty big, honestly. I'm just kind of stuck it in there. Here's my bed. Super uncomfortable. <laughs> it was really hard. But I'll tell you what, I slept the best I've ever slept. I passed out. And here's the plugs. So I brought my little converter in this thing. Thank goodness I did. So smart on me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the setup there. Here's the bathroom. So they also give you like little bathroom shoes, which I think are pretty sweet. I'm gonna steal them. And then, here's the shower. So it's all like in the same room. Like, I got my toilet soaked when I took a shower. And I brought this thing. The last video I was like, eh, I'm not gonna bring this, it's too bulky. But yeah, it's perfect. Glad I brought my own towel, the only towel they gave me. It was this hand towel. 
That was sucked. If I did not bring my own towel, this is just more clothes. I got air dry. And then quite a bit of storage. They gave me damaged hair shampoo. How did they know? <laughs> and daily fresh body wash. I'm gonna steal these too, not gonna lie. They gave me a toothbrush too in this little case. I thought this was a nice case. Totally stealing that too. I mean, it's not like they're gonna keep it. But the best feature of this quarantine place is the floors. They're heated. Heated floors, bro. It's awesome. My feet are so warm all the time. I don't want to stop standing in this room. But yeah. That's pretty much the quarantine area. So that's my room. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about was this morning. So this morning at like 9 a.m. they like took me out of my room and for a PCR test. I thought they were just gonna bring the test to me, but no. So like he like opens the door and he's like, oh, oh get passport, get passport. So I grab my passport and he's like, oh, coat, coat. So like I went and grab my coat and then I head out. And I'm just wearing sweats, like this sweatshirt and sweatpants and tennis shoes. And, um, I'm kind of embarrassed, honestly, because everyone's, like, dressed up. They have, like, name brand everything. They have, like, luxury shoes on, Balenciagas, like, luxury boots. I'm, I'm embarrassed, because, like, in America, usually I'm, like, pretty dressed up, and then everybody else is kind of, like, wearing sweats. But, no, not the case. I'm wearing sweats. Everyone else is dressed up, and I'm, like embarrassed i didn't know this was an event i should have dressed up anyways we get to the center and um i get in the car and there's like two other girls in there and they're from taiwan and you know i asked them like oh hey where are you from they're like oh i'm from taiwan and i was like oh cool you know my boyfriend's in taiwan and this is the part i'm upset about because i know a little mandarin so i could have told her in mandarin um nampanyo Taiwan like I could have said that and she didn't know what I was saying like obviously she didn't know any English so she's like eh. and then she asked me a question um I maybe it was in Taiwanese or maybe I just don't know this word but she asked me like I didn't I thought she was asking me like where's my boyfriend from since I just said that and so I was like oh uh, Taipei but I don't think that's what she asked me, like, now that I think about it, I think she was asking me, like, where I'm from. So, maybe she thinks I'm from Taipei now. I don't know. But I'm, like, upset, because I know a little Mandarin. I could have spoke to her in Mandarin, but whatever. Missed opportunity, I guess. But that's about it. Thanks for coming to my vlog. Peace.